Hello and welcome to a new video on our YouTube channel. Today it's time to put the Goose Hill Sailor to the test. Especially in the English speaking paddleboarding scene, there have been many positive comments about the model for some time, and it also enjoys great popularity on the relevant sales portals. Therefore, we are very pleased that we now had the opportunity to intensely test the board ourselves. The Goose Hill Sailor, with its classic look in white, blue, black, and gray, is a pretty typical all-around model and comes with a complete accessory package, which is especially designed for beginners. In this video, we go into all the features of the offering and also tell you what special features set the board apart from many others in the very competitive board class. For even more detailed information, feel free to read the in-depth written board review on stand-up-paddling.org, which we've linked beneath the video. Due to our good contacts to the manufacturers, we often have the pleasure to test the latest models in the form of free test boards for you. Of course, you will always find a direct link to the attractive offers in the video description. If you buy the board via the link, we get a small commission without any charge in your price. This way you automatically support our work and make sure that we continue to produce many new tests. The Goose Hill Sailor is the ideal all-arounder in terms of dimensions. With 320 centimeters length, 81 centimeters width, and 15 centimeters thickness, it has absolutely standard dimensions. The 10.6 size is by far the most popular and a good choice for most adults. The shape, however, has some special features in comparison. The rounded nose is characteristic, but the straight tail and especially the very straight sides are much rarer. As a result, the gliding behavior is quite outstanding for an all-arounder, and the volume of approximately 300 liters is quite impressive. Thus, a load capacity of up to 100 kilograms as well as the desired stability and maneuverability are ensured. The built-in 2 plus 1 fin setup with removable center fin is always the best option in terms of flexibility. The performance is very good for beginners, and the straight rails are also good for longer distances. As with many paddle boards, the tip of the Goose Hill Sailor is bent upwards. The so-called nose rocker, however, is decent and is only useful in moderate waves. When it comes to the details of the construction, the manufacturer is unfortunately somewhat secretive and doesn't want to reveal what exactly is hidden behind the designation SCE Technology, Super Construction Enhancement Technology. The exact construction of the outer shell is therefore unclear. However, the board core is made in the conventional drop stitch process in which a lot of polyester threads connect and stabilize the upper and lower sides. Nevertheless, it has to be said that the Goose Hill Sailor achieves a good stiffness despite the low weight of only 9.3 kilograms. In the test with Max, who weighs in around 80 kilograms, the board was far from the load limit. The light weight is of course very pleasant in terms of transport and handling. Fans of luxurious features will have to accept a few cutbacks in the Goose Hill Sailor's features. Deck Pad The base surface made of the soft EVA foam is equipped with a very widespread diamond structure. The advantage of this popular surface is, in addition to the slip resistance, above all the good water drainage in all directions. Luggage Net The flexible cover net is stretched crosswise on four D-rings and offers storage space for luggage and food. A free D-ring. At the very back of the tail is a large and sturdy D-ring to attach the leash to. Central carrying loop. The only carrying handle is located in the center of the board and automatically indicates the most stable standing position to beginners. The handle is made of webby material and makes a very robust impression. 2 plus 1 fin setup with a removable center fin. The large center fin in dolphin shape is removable in contrast to the firmly glued side fins. It is simply pushed into the rail of the plug-in system and fixed with a small clip, which is additionally secured against loss on a small cord. The accessory package includes everything you need for a successful launch. SUP Backpack The black and gray backpack with white logo and lettering of the manufacturer is a roomy but overall simple model. Dimensions 95 by 45 by 35 centimeters. It is equipped with a side handle, a large main compartment with a zipper and wide but only very limited padded carrying straps. The hip belt allows it to be adjusted closely to the body. In addition, the individual parts of the paddle have space in the side slide-in compartments and can be fastened with the straps above. Three-piece paddle. The included paddle is adjustable in length and has a printed scale on the handle section. The shaft is made of aluminum and the handle and paddle blade are made of plastic. Like all identical copies, it is quite heavy but also quite robust. Switchable double action air pump with pressure indicator, pressure gauge. The set includes a switchable double action pump with pressure indicator, manometer. With this, you can pump air into the board both while pulling up and when pushing down. 
When the back pressure increases towards the end, you can switch to the single action mode and save your strength. Coiled Leash The included black safety leash is coiled and only stretches to its full length when you fall into the water. The neoprene cuff allows you to connect the board to your ankle or below the knee, ensuring it always stays close to you. Repair Kit To help you repair small damages to the board yourself, the necessary components are included in a small orange box. Is there a warranty on the Goose Hill Sailor? Yes, the manufacturer gives a three-year warranty on all their boards. Considering the price range, that's pretty amazing and absolutely pleasing. How long does it take to inflate the board? For classic all-arounder boards of this size, a pumping time of about five to seven minutes has proven to be realistic. Is the Goose Hill Sailor suitable for beginners? Absolutely. The most important feature for this target group is the high stability, which makes it easy to get started. The all-arounder shape, together with the three fins, ensures a balanced and all-purpose ride. The straight-running sideline also helps the board well on a straight course. The Goose Hill Sailor belongs to the highly competitive class of 10.6 entry-level boards and offers an overall attractive price-performance ratio. Except for the accessories, there is not much to complain about in terms of quality. However, the equipment can by no means be first class in this price range. Points of criticism on our part are unclear statements about the material construction and the load of 200 kilograms, which is clearly too high. Nevertheless, it has to be said that the board is quite stiff and resilient. It performed well in the test and is certainly recommended for price-conscious beginners. If you like this video, feel free to leave us a like and a subscription. You are of course welcome to click through our YouTube channel or visit us at stand-up-paddling.org. There are so many SUP tests waiting for you, and if you have individual questions, you can always contact us. See you soon. We're looking forward to your next visit.